Hey guys, this is Neil, and I had a uh, request, I guess, uh, to do a competitor keyword research video. Um, I was commenting on a thread on Big SEO on Reddit, and um, I gave a kind of a step-by-step -step thing for finding some keywords, and uh, it's uh, grab your competitor keywords from SEMrush, put that all into one Excel sheet, um, and then put that through Scraperox and take that out and put it through Longtail Pro. And then um, you'll have a huge list of keywords that um, people are searching for in your market. So uh, it's kind of complicated. A video will probably be easier. So here we go. So the first thing is to get your competitor list. Um, so I'm in Boca Raton, Florida, so I decided to do Boca Raton Lawyers. Um, you'd probably want to be a little bit more specific uh, on your competitors than just lawyer. But, um, you know, lawyers are pretty common targets for SEO agencies. So, uh, And I came up with, uh, with these guys. Uh, we've got um, the Brody and Friedman. We have Shapiro, uh, Lafer, Laval. Isaacson Reed, and then Dubosar, or Dubosar, I don't know, I don't speak French. Okay, so I've got my, my competitor list. So next thing is to go into SEMrush. So uh, just pause for a second and I'll load that up. Okay, so I made a little list of my competitor websites here. And I opened up my SEMrush. Mine is inside of a members area of another website, so it looks a little bit different. But it still works the same. Organic keywords. Okay, so we've got these keywords. And let's download this report. All right, so that's one. And then we're going to go to the next guy. And do it all over again. Generate report, organic keywords. And this guy's got 26 of them. Download that report. And repeat. And I'll pause the video while, while I repeat through the next, uh, the next four. Uh, okay, so I went through SEMrush and downloaded all the organic reports from my six competitors, and I combined them all into one Excel sheet. So you can see that we have 116 terms. Now, probably... Um, some of these are repeats, so we want to make sure we get rid of those. So we go to data and remove duplicates in column A. And okay, 73 re unique values remain. So, okay, we've got a, a, our stem list here. So next we're going to take this uh, list and put it through Scrapebox to get additional keywords. Okay, so we're in Scrapebox. Uh, version 2 just came out, which is kind of exciting. Uh, so we're going to go to Scrape and Keyword Scraper and paste in our list. Do a post, fee post prefix of A to Z. So what, it's, what that's going to do is it's going to add A through Z to each one of these keywords in order to get that, uh, that Google suggest. And okay, so it's asking us to for sure it's going to end up with 1,971 keywords. We say yes. And let's make sure that um, we want to check Google Suggest. And that's really all I'm going to do on this one. And we're going to do level two. What level two means is that it's going to search, uh, in this case, Jason Brody A. It's going to pull back the Google Suggest results. And then that's the first level. So then the second level is it takes the results of that and does the whole thing again to see if there's any additional um, additional suggestions deeper down the line. So <coughs> uh, that all looks good. And you can do all these other suggests as well uh, from eBay or Amazon or Yahoo or whatever, uh, just depending on what kind of uh, keywords you're looking at. In this case, we're just looking for, for Google keywords. So just Google suggest is fine. And we click start. So this is going to run, and uh, it's going to take a little while. So I'll pause this, and we'll come back when it's all done. OK, so it's been a few minutes, and we have our results. We've got 4,930 here. And um, you know, a lot of these are going to be not so relevant. 
uh, simply because of the way Google Suggest works. So uh, we're going to have to trim out things at the end, um, but we're going to use all of our automated tools first on the front end in order to reduce any manual work at the end. So let's go ahead and export this. We're going to save all keywords to file. And we'll say, uh, let's say keywords. Okay. And then we can open that. That's on the desktop. And there, there it is. So there's our whole list. And you can see some of them didn't even execute qu quite right. I probably had a proxy problem or something. So now we're going to take this list and paste it into a tool that allows bulk link checking. Now, personally, I use Longtail Pro for almost everything, uh, but you can use whatever tool that you like. So give me a second while I set that up. Okay, so we're going to copy all of this, and I have my Longtail Pro. You can add your own keywords here. For Longtail Pro, it allows you to do up to 10,000 at a time. So 4,000 should be no problem. And then, well, let's just grab everything and then we'll customize later. So this is going to go through its seven steps and it's going to come back with a whole list and, you know, CPCs and searches and all and so on. So I'll pause that while it runs. It takes a few minutes and be back in just a second. Okay, so we have our list of keywords that are checked. Um, so Longtail Pro logged into my um, my Google account at AdWords and you know went into the Planner tool and put in all the keywords that I wanted to in multiple lists. And um, so that's why uh, you know I love this tool because you know it makes my life easier. So uh, we now have search volumes and suggested CPCs for each of the keywords. And now we can just hit export, and it'll go to, let's call it Boca Lawyer XLS. So let's open that here, and let's go to desktop. Okay, so here we go. And now we can look at this data and manipulate it however we want and uh, eliminate the things that we don't want and calculate the values of the things we do want. So one thing about client SEO is that, uh, you know, the suggested bid is really going to have no relevance to the value of a, you know, new lead or a new person hitting the website. So you have to figure that out for your clients. Uh, in the case of a lawyer, um, you can see here, personal injury attorney Boca Raton. It's got 110 searches. The cost per click is $165. So clearly, lawyers are paying their AdWords firms, you know, crazy amounts of money for just one lead because, well, the, the value of a client is pretty high in that particular space. So what I like to do is I like to create an SEO value uh, column. And basically what I'm going to do is let me say, okay, uh, local searches, and this for this search is 18,100. Uh, if I'm number one, I'm going to get, let's say, 30% of that, or 35%. And then of those, my conversion rate is going to be X percent. So maybe it's 5% for your particular client. And obviously that number is going to change with each different um, situation. And then of those conversions, you know, let's say that... Uh, one in ten actually becomes a paying customer of some sort. So it's going to be times 10%. And then in the legal space, that value could be very high. It could be, uh, you know, 2000 bucks. So let's multiply by whatever that lifetime value of that client is. So then, oops, we copy that down. And now we have, you know, a value, or at least an estimate of a value, of that particular keyword and we can you know because this is an excel sheet we can you know filter and look for things that um that we're interested in so like if we're looking for injury attorneys okay so we've got these four uh let's see eight terms rather have an seo value of 1140 
and we can refine this a little bit more, take out all the zeros. Okay, there we go. So there we've got 1,620 in SEO value if we rank number one for all of these. You know, is that worth our time? Uh, well, we've got a number, and then we have to look at our competition and see, you know, are we going to be able to rank? And uh, But this will give you a good first approximation of, you know, what your revenues are going to be and whether you should go after a keyword or not. So anyway, hope that helps. Um, I'm going to post this in the uh, the Reddit thread that uh, that started this whole thing off. If you have any questions, uh, reply below. If you're looking for um, Longtail Pro, there's actually a special going on right now, if you care. Um, SEMrush uh, is typically a little on the expensive side. But for agencies, these are tools that you should definitely have in-house. Anyway, talk to you later.